today we're going to test and review a Tesla to J1772 adapter from Manzarion that we picked up off of Amazon. This is the Manzarian charger adapter Tesla to JT, uh, J1772. Uh, comes in handy for destination charging at a hotel, level two charging if the only plugs available are Tesla plugs or NACS. We purchased this off of Amazon. I believe it lists for $119.99. Last time I looked, it was on sale for $98.99. When I film this video, I'll update what the price is on my screen here and see what's up with that. So we'll open the box, show you what's in it. This one comes with a carrying case. It's got a little handle. Uh, if you unzip from here, you've got instructions. And here is the adapter. It has these, this textured grip. It is a hard plastic, yet not, not rubberized like the EV base uh, adapter. Has the release for the Tesla plug down here, the release for the car here, and this one is lockable. It comes with a set of four keys that can go in there so you can lock this and people won't be able to steal, take your adapter off of the car, which if you're in a place where you're concerned about that, uh, sorry about that. We'll see what's up. So let's go ahead and get a charge started here at this Tesla destination charger at the workplace in Granbury, Texas. So we're going to start, as always, on a charging test with a quick update on car scanner. We're sitting at a 53.73% state of charge. Um, car's drawing two tenths of a kilowatt right now. Uh, battery temp is at 95 degrees. Uh, I'd have to wake the car up to get the ambient air temperature, but my watch says it's 99 degrees. It's hot. So I'm going to go ahead and get the plug from this Tesla charger. Do you see this is the Tesla plug or NACS plug. Take this end to this end of the adapter and you plug in your adapter first. And it is not locking. Oh, wait. Huh. Ah, there we go. Got to push it that way. You have to manually lock this one. We did, you didn't have to manually lock the EV base. It just it grabbed it ahead of time. So it's manually locked. It's on there now. So what we're going to do now is plug in. And then I'm going to go into the Tesla app. And now I need to go back over here, select the workplace, charge here, scan QR code. It got it right away that time. And there's a click on the charger. There's the beep from the car. And now we are charging. I'm starting my 10 minute timer now. Uh, we are... There we go. Now I'm starting to get a reading on car scanner. 120.2 degrees is what it is in the car right now, which is why no living creature is in there at the moment. Um, our dog is here in the shade getting water while we're, <laughs> while we're charging because we, we, we wouldn't want her out here on this. It is, it is hot today. All right, we're up to, uh, we were at 7.96 kilowatt hours according to car scanner. Uh, there for a second, but now it's leveled off at about seven and a half just went down to 7.3 According to Tesla uh, We're getting nine kilowatts the car was it was not on you can tell by the by how hot it was inside Cooling fans have just kicked on uh, Really uh, really quickly. We did a 10-minute charging video right before this on the same charger with a different adapter so The battery's already pretty warm and that, that cooling is what's um, affecting our net power. It's got it, cause now it's down around five and a half kilowatts. So that, that's the net that it's getting. It's expending some power to have those fans going to cool the battery. We'll check in at five minutes and see where we're at. One thing I wanna mention, this charger charges 70 cents per kilowatt hour, which is, in my opinion, really high. Uh, it's fine for uh, a quick little top off like we're doing here for this test, but charging this car overnight, that would be a, a rather large fuel bill. Uh, that is not common for the other chargers that I've come across. It is, uh, 
the most expensive one that I had done was like 55 cents at a seven charge, 55 cents a kilowatt hour. Um, most other level two chargers aren't anywhere close to that. And uh, the Volta chargers are free and they do the same thing. Uh, we just passed the five minute mark on this charge test, uh, doing a check in on car scanner. Um, it's not really updating. It's saying we're still at 53.73% battery, uh, getting about seven and a quarter kilowatt hours net. Uh, battery temp is at 95. Uh, and we've received about eight tenths of a kilowatt hour so far from this Tesla destination charger. Let me do uh, the hand test. The Tesla charger is quite warm. Compare temperatures on the Manzarian and it is just as, it's actually hotter. The Manzarian is hotter to the touch than the, the Tesla charger is compared to the EV base charger that was, I'm not gonna say cooler to the touch, but not as hot as the, as the charge plug was. I figure it was maybe about a five degree, 10 degree difference. This one is about that in the opposite direction. The adapter is, is hotter than the charger. Now they're black, they're in direct sunlight, so that's gonna be adding a lot of the heat. So that's not necessarily electric transfer. I think it has to do with this one having the hard plastic uh, gripped uh, shell where, where your hand grips the, grips the adapter compared to the EV base adapter that had uh, the rubberized grip. And I think that rubberized grip uh, did a little bit better job of insulation for temperature as far as your, your hand would, uh, would go. Coming up on one minute left to charge. Um, looking at uh, the Tesla app, we're at uh, 1.395, might, might as well say 1.4 kilowatts, kilowatt hours so far. Um, we have spent our 70 cents because we've cleared that one kilowatt hour marker. Uh, the Tesla app still says that it's delivering nine kilowatts, but my cooling fans are on. Uh, but we're getting 8.87, uh, we just hit, might as well say nine, registered on the, on the OBD dongle in there uh, for power that's coming in. Battery temp is still at 95, so the cooling fans on the bolt are doing their job. We're up to 54.51% state of charge, and it is hot out here. Uh, my watch now says 99. The car says 114.8 ambient temperature. That's the difference between being outside and being inside a car with no air conditioning. Timer has just gone off. So I'm gonna go back into the Tesla app and stop the charge to complete the session and avoid idle fees, unplug and move your vehicle. We are at 54.9% state of charge. I'm gonna go ahead and unplug So we'll release there, pull it out, and move this slider, because I, I didn't to the key lock. Come on. Oh, that's tight. There we go. Click. And now it's clear. So we're now done with the adapter. I'll put the, the cord up. And that is our charging experience with the Manzarian Tesla to uh, J1772 adapter. Uh, the locking mechanism was a little tough to make sure that the adapter locked on to the plug because it's not a push button. That push button just moves the lock and then you have to slide that and it is tight to go. But I didn't try the key locking mechanism, um, but that's it. The hard plastic shell here, even though it's got finger grips, that does retain a fair amount of heat on a hot day like this. So final thoughts on how these two units compare to each other. Size-wise, they're very close. The Manzarian is a little bit larger, but they're both very compact. With this one, you do get the case and you do get the ability to do a key lock on it. But aside from that, the finger grips here may look nice, but this hard shell um, casing where your grip goes compared to this rubberized handle, this gets a lot warmer in direct sunlight than this one does. So this one, I mean, it's still warm. It's, it's hot, it's black, it's gonna be warm, but this rubber does a much, much better job of insulating uh, heat from your hand. Um, the locking mechanism to make sure that the NACS plug is locked on this one was just a push, was super easy, easy to move. On this one, 
to get it to lock into place you had to push down on this and move this slider and it is tough to move so this one has the edge on locking they both do the job this does the job quite well um, just for my own comfort this has a to me this has a better feel it's lighter than this one um, i'm not concerned about the key lock that's just one more key for me to lose and i'm not concerned about the case because it's gonna it, it'll take up less space without the case anyway and this can ride in my center console uh, so again this lists on the ev base website for 99 dollars if you enter my promo code spinner you'll get 15 percent off my affiliate link and the product link will be down in the description um, tell me what you think Thanks for watching.